Hello friends, welcome to our channel Brain Exploders, where we share all kinds of brain boosters, teasers, puzzles, riddles and stumping questions. Here is our previous question. There are 3 spaces and 5 disks of different sizes which can be kept on any space. These are already in a neat stack of ascending order of size. You have to find the minimum number of moves in which the stack can be moved to another space obeying the following three simple rules. Only one disk can be moved at a time. The second rule is each move consists of taking the upper disk from one of the stack and placing it on another stack or empty space. And the third rule is that no larger disk can be placed on smaller disk. For example, these are the three spaces and this is the stack of disks. Now we cannot take two or more than two disks at a time. We have to take only the upper disk at a time from any of the stack present on any of these three spaces and we can kept it, we can put it on any of the empty space or any larger disk but any larger disk cannot be kept on any smaller disk so following these rules you have to put the whole stack to the another space if you have not tried this question yet you can pause the video for more time here is the solution the given problem is known as Tower of Hanoi, also called Tower of Brahma or Lucas Tower. It is a mathematical game or puzzle which consists the rule as given in the question. In this video, we will show the general solution as well as the steps for particular problem of three disks. So let's come to the main problem. Suppose here we have a stack of disks here including this blue disk let us suppose that here we have n disks at the top also let us assume that to move a stack of n disks we need at least tn number of moves now let's count the number of moves here if we displace the above n disks then we have assumed that there are tn number of moves occurring here and now let's put the another disk on the empty space one thing should be clear here that we are not breaking any rule here you may think that we are taking n disks at a time and moving it but this is not so here we have assumed that in this stack of n disks if we consider if we take only one disk at a time and keep going on by following all the rules then the number of moves will be tn this is a assumption here we are not doing exactly the thing which is shown on the screen screen so let's proceed now again we are taking these n disks one by one not as on the screen it is just an assumption so it will take tn another moves so total number of moves are 2 tn plus 1 and in the 2 tn plus 1 moves we have moved n plus 1 disk disks to the another space now number of moves to displace n plus 1 disks is equal to 2 tn plus 1 or we can write that tn plus 1 is equal to 2 tn plus 1 Now we know that uh, number of moves to displace one disk is equal to 1. So we can write T1 is equal to 1. And applying the concluded progression, we can calculate T2 is equal to 2 times T1 plus 1, that is 3. And similarly, T3 is equal to 2 times T2 plus 1, that is 7. And in this way, we get T5 is equal to 31 now 3 7 15 31 many of you are 
familiar with this pattern and many of you get the pattern yes we can write all these numbers as 2 to the power n minus 1 uh, so in general for n number of disks we can write tn is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 and this is the general solution of the problem now let's see the steps for above three disks now let's do each and every step for the three disks so here is the first step the second the third also you can see that 2 to the power 2 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and in three steps we have displaced above two disks and this is the fourth move the fifth the sixth and the seventh here again 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is equal to 7 and in 7 move we have displaced 3 disks if we keep going on then we can observe one more thing here we can see that first disk is moved in every 2n plus 1th move in left direction second disk is moved in every 4n plus 2th move in right direction third disk is moved in every 8n plus 4th move in left direction and so on so with the, these observations also we can keep going on in the and we can displace the stack in the optimal number of views so this was the solution let's move to our another question take midpoints on all the faces of a cube join all these points to form a octahedron if the volume of the cube is 8 cubic centimeters then find the volume of this octahedron suppose this is a cube now take the midpoints of all the faces on this cube join all these points to form a octahedron now here the volume of cube is 8 cubic centimeter then find the volume of octahedron try this question and comment as the solution and if you have any question like this send us on the gmail given in the description box don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain exploders thanks for watching